In this video I'll show you how to convert things like these recurring decimals into fractions and we'll build up to uh, harder and harder cases so we'll be able to do things like 0.4162 recurring as well and things like that later but let's start with a simple one like 0.7 recurring and uh, the method uh, that will generalize nicely to all of those other examples as well is to take this number and actually for now let's write it out as 0.7777 you know dot 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 and this number that I'm going to work out I'm going to call uh, I'm going to say that this is this is x and then what we'll do is we'll multiply it by 10 and that will give us 10x if I multiply this by 10 I'm just going to get 7.7777 uh, dot 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 uh, so I've got 7.7 .7 recurring, so if you like this is 0 0.7 recurring and this is 7.7 .7 recurring. And when I subtract 10x from x then, I'm left with 9x. And 9x is equal to this number minus this number. But if I subtract this number from this number, well, all of the 0 0.7 recurring bit goes away and I'm just left with 7. So x must be the solution to 9x equals 7 so x is equal to 7 ninths and indeed you could check that's the, the case um, so uh, we multiply it by 10, subtract one from the other and then that gives us this neat equation if you're doing these fit at Excel IGCSE papers you do need to be able to do this algebraic method as well because uh, and probably for some other exam boards because you're allowed to take a calculator in that could just do it for you otherwise so they do expect to see this logic in your answers too um, but that's enough for exams. Uh, let's uh, have a look at some harder examples uh, uh, as well that could come up in the could come up in the exams and, and are just very useful to know how to do. Okay, so firstly, what if it's got a, a recurring that's just over one number, but it's got uh, something before the recurring? It's not just naught point that. So here, three point two six, three point two six recurring. So this would be three point two six 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 like this. So that's my x. Now we'll do the same thing. We'll do 10 times x, and that would give me 32.66666. And the same thing is going to happen. When I do 10x minus x, that will give me 9x. And now I've got to do 32.6 recurring minus 3.26 recurring. But this is quite nice because when I do this subtraction, all of uh, these things are going to cancel out. That'll just be zero. So I just need to do. 32.6 minus 3.2 and 32.6 minus 3.2 that gives you uh, 29.4 so the answer here is that x equals that's 9x so x equals 29.4 over 9 and I wouldn't really leave it as a decimal inside a fraction so that's 294 over 90 and really now we should simplify this uh, uh, fraction down uh, as well if we can and you can divide top and bottom by 6 to get 49 over 15 so it's a slightly harder example there because of the way the numbers came out but in principle we do just the same thing we'll multiply it by 10 subtract one from the other and and sort out this equation and then from here to here that's tidying up that's just tidying up that fraction Okay, here's another one. This time we've got a recurring pattern that's two digits long. So the x here would be 0 0.4141414141, etc. And when there's two dots like this, rather than timesing by 10, to get that cancellation as we got before, we're going to have to times by 100. So we'll have 100x, and 100x here would be 41.4141414141, and it just keeps going on forever still. So We've just multiplied this number by 100, essentially moving the decimal place that way by 2. And if we do the subtraction again, this time we get 99x equals, and again that 0.41 recurring part is going to cancel out, and we're just going to be left with 41. So x is equal to 41 over 99. And we should check if this cancels down at all in the fraction, but it doesn't, so that's our final answer. And again, it works out fine if we've got something before the a uh, recurring uh, pattern if we've got this as our x so this would mean 1.327277 times it by 100 
uh, that will give us 13 sorry 130 moving it two places along point sorry 132 point uh, 727272 etc and when I do the subtraction to get 99x equals and it's helpful to see this I think if you line up the decimals as I've just as I've just done there and line up the digits that from this point onwards 7272 etc it's just going to repeat together so when I subtract this one from this one I can kind of all of this stuff goes away and I'm just left with 132.72 minus 1.32 which is 131.4 so uh, x equals 131.4 over 99 uh, and again we should really say this is 1314 over 990 uh, and you can check actually that that does simplify down to uh, 73 over 55 um, so I didn't I just um, did that in the background whilst the video is off because uh, this is the main part of what we're doing so we get x is 131.4 divided by 99 and from this point it's just a case of making the fraction into something a bit nicer um, but that same technique applies. So if it's one dot, we times it by ten. Two dots, times it by a hundred. You can perhaps guess what's coming. If I've got three dots, I am going to take this and times it by one thousand. So point three one four occurring like that would be three one four, three one four, three one four. So I'll get one thousand X and this is three one four point three one four three one four three one four etc. So subtract one from the other to leave 999x. Uh, this bit cancels out, so I've got 314. So x equals 314 over 999. And uh, again, that one actually doesn't cancel down at all, so uh, that's our final answer. And we could do something similarly uh, as we did before if you wanted to, if you had something like 31.25, 314 recurring. Uh, you could do the same thing times by a thousand subtract and you'll see at some point everything cancels out um, but uh, in principle that's how it works so how many uh, digits there are in the recurring pattern uh, we add another factor of 10 in here so 1 was 10, 2 was 100, 3 was 1000, if it was 4 you do 10,000, 5 you do 100,000, 6 you do a million etc and uh, just apply that method to subtract and then sort out the equation you've got I was going to do some exam questions as well, but I think as this video is getting a little long, I'll put those into a separate uh, video which you can find. But just before we finish this video, um, another way of dealing with uh, these things, is, so if you want to be really good and fluent uh, you know, with these rather than writing that out uh, all the time, although you should do that for your exams if that's, what required, if that's what's required, uh, is to just notice that if you've got just 0 0.4 recurring, that's 4 ninths, and if it was 0 point something else recurring, that would be that many ninths. Similarly, if it's 0. something with two dots, then that's 2199. And if it's 0. Point something with three dots, it's that something over 999. You know, and I could keep going with this. 0. 4173 recurring then would be 4173 over 9999. And this gives us another way of working out those more complicated ones uh, quickly. So if I wanted to do, say, what about 0. 0.04 recurring? Well, that would be just this number divided by uh, 10. So that would be 4 ninetieths. Okay. Uh, notice that's different from 0 0.04 occurring, which would be 0.04 uh, ninety-ninths. Um, this is a bit bigger, you see, because it's got all fours, but this has got fours with some zeros. And if I then say, well, okay, what about 0 0.34 occurring? Well, 0 0.34 occurring is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.04 occurring. So that's three tenths plus uh, four ninetieths. So that would be twenty-seven ninetieths plus four ninetieths. That would be thirty-one ninetieths. So you can build these uh, build these things up, you know, it's, you know. So if I wanted to say have naught point four three two one recurring. I could say that's 0 0.43 plus 0 0.0021 recurring 
and so this is 43 hundredths plus, and now this is, this would be 21 ninety-ninths if it was just naught point that, but it's naught point naught naught that, so those two zeros I've divided by a hundred, so that would be 21 over 9,900, and then you could uh, combine those uh, fractions into into a single one, uh, which I'll just do with the calculator here, the speed, that would give us 713 over 1,650. So, uh, you know, that first method will always work here as well, you know, I could have times it by 100, subtracted one from the other, and done the uh, done the method as before. Real experts, uh, you know, this this is a uh, another good way of looking at it. Really, uh, if you and if you can understand this uh, way of doing it as well, uh, then you've got two methods and you're really understanding what's going on, which is great. Um, if you're doing this for GCSE exams and you just want a method, I'd stick to that first one. Uh, but as I say this is great for some extra fluency.